taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste oh, buds. Oh, Q is back and joining back. us for another episode. Uh, I don't know if these uh, will appear in order, because uh, Q bailed us out uh, when Joe had to do work at Joey Rose's on Rivington Street. Yes. Go visit his sandwich shop. Do you let people know club. that you're part owner of that, or no? I never did, no. Oh, because I, lo- I love telling people that. <laughs> I say it all the time. Yeah, I'm not really, I mean, it's a small investment. Uh, I mean, the ti- like the, the, the tiniest investment you could possibly, like less than a percentage. But yeah. as far as I'm concerned, yeah, that means it's <laughs> fucking, I'm part owner, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I love- uh, Well, I told him, uh, I told him <laughs> that, uh, like, what I'm really buying is the ability to be like, eh, I don't like that for like, yeah. for in perpetuity. Yeah. He's the son, <laughs> he's a real son of a bitch too, because he lied to me. DeRosa, he, I said, I'll do it if you name a sandwich after me. He said, I, I, I'm not getting into that, I'm, which is fine. He's like, I'm not doing that. He goes, I'll name, I'll name a sandwich called the Bride Guy and, 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 and name it after you. He goes, but I don't want to do uh, the Q because uh, the, blah, blah, blah. He goes, but I'll do a Bride Guy. I go, you do Bride Guy? The bride Guy. I asked him in Atlantic City. I was like, how's the Bride Guy? He's like, what, what? Oh, uh, I, like, I think that was a uh, curb episode. Like he had something named at the last season. Yeah. He had it was a, 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 the place in LA that names all the sandwiches after you, and it was remember. a good curb episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, the bride guy that would have been fun. Would you know what it was going to be? We worked it all out, but I don't remember it now. Ah. But I would love to get into the lab with him and 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 like and I just want him to stay true to his word, or else I I might have to pull my investment out. Wow, well, my lady might get a potato salad on the menu. Yeah. Yes. See? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So there you go. Although it was promised and it's not up there yet. He's promising this shit all over town. And we all also came town. up with a cute little thing where, like, if you ordered, like, um, there would be shots and the shots would come with a skewer or something. So it was born out of pickleback shots. I'm like, never mind the pickleback. Why don't you do a nice... Like a like a nice pickle square on a on a toothpick when you order a whiskey, so it's an actual pickle. And so Ooh. we started thinking about, oh wow, you could put a gherkin on there. You could put so we started, you know, an olive. So we, there's all these like accoutrements to, sh- to shots, specialty shots. It was supposed to be like fun. Yeah, it sounds good. But I haven't seen that yet. But to be fair, you're watching this now. Truthfully, he's only been open like a week, two weeks. Yeah. So I mean, it's it, the place is a menu. Great. Yeah. Just a and shout I'm not out. on it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Have you had the sandwiches? No. Delicious. Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you. I got to get over there. So good. Yeah, I keep meaning to get over there. I, I just haven't had a chance. You know, New York, Maybe we grew up in New York. Yeah, we, we'll, yeah. See, we'll go. Yeah. We'll go get a drink. I'm meeting uh, in Bergio for lunch tomorrow in Manhattan. Maybe. Uh, what's tomorrow? It? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Friday. I might, be able to, I might be able to do that. Let's do it. I will talk after. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know how we, we grew up in New York and even a suburb in Staten Island, like a deli sandwich is a thing. Yeah. Like you go, we go out and on the road and anywhere sure. in, in the Midwest, a lot of times. It's not the same. It's not the exact same. They don't have like their Jimmy John's and things like that. Yeah. But uh, a neighborhood deli that makes like a fresh sliced sandwich is not, it's very New York centric. Like Gary is on, on Highland. Yeah, like an like Italian like, deli yeah, too or whatever. Yeah. And especially like bagels were famous for. That is something we grew up on. And even in Manhattan right now, it's hard to find a place that is it is is not is churning out like those authentic authentic neighborhood yeah. deli sandwiches that's what he has the bread is friggin delicious yeah. it, it's like you know when you just bite it and you're like oh and then you think about that sandwich yeah that's yeah. what it's yeah, going yeah, yeah. for huh? and, and and he has eight on the menu and he used to do eight cold eight hot right now he just has the eight cold on the menu and they're eight bucks oh, so that's that's, that's good too i'm gonna give him a little plug because it's so good and he already has he's already selling out of sandwiches every day because really? the neighborhood is immediately on it because oh, it's such a good him. deal, so they're like upping up, up the sandwiches, and get like you know, so it's, right, it's right, building right. Really pretty quickly. Good for him. And man. the spot is dope. It's all like it's all nostalgic. It's built out. He has all like old uh, rap albums uh, underneath the bar, like on the bar top. Wow, he and designed all this himself. Yeah, on the wall he has all old laser discs from movies. Get out. And then he has oh, a, a cool. bookshelf with all old sci-fi books, and then uh, he has an old Star Wars machine, and then a pinball. Uh, no, or it's like the uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's and cool. then in the walls, it was this cool thing. They had these brick walls that had like whole, like literal, like cutouts in them. Yeah, like like actually, you have one in your house, I think. Like that cut out in the brick wall, like that. You kind of like that thing in the oh, wall, like the fire, the fire. Yeah, the the, fire but this was like, an, and he put screens on them, put lights in them, and he put old Atari games in them. So oh, it's almost like they're like in the cool. in the wall, like it's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. Anyway, right, it's yeah, on over there. It's on Rivington Street, and you go check out Joey Rose's. Uh, all right, so you are uh, sitting in again today for Joe, and yeah. we'd love to have you back. 
Yeah, uh, this one I feel like I can really tackle tackle with a little bit more teeth. Okay. Because I do have a, like, I yes. suppose the dogs versus cats, you know, I love them both. This I have a very, I have a strong opinion on, so I feel like I could more accurately defend. Yeah, it. so if, you, and if that's the last one we did together, I guess ours won't count toward... I don't think I think we agreed to that they won't count toward the year total. We need to check in with DeRosa. Okay, yeah. okay, All yeah, because right. apparently, <laughs> apparently whoever loses has to like we're doing the season by like year, which is like right now. Anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. And whoever has the worst record is gonna is gonna have some type of ill fated thing. And oh, I'm, I'm right. gonna throw in the YouTube community tab. Uh, just send us some ideas of what we should do to the guys who who loses. What's the punishment? Yeah, Oof. help us. Oof. So whereas last time I hated cats, you love cats, but we're fine. With dogs, love dogs, it, love dogs. So it was hard yeah. for you to get mix it up. Sure, but I wanted to have that battle because me and Joe couldn't have it, and you're the perfect cat person. Yeah. Today we are going to be battling appetizers versus desserts. Yeah. The two ends of the meal, the two goalposts, yes. and look, you actively don't like desserts. It takes a lot for me to have a dessert. I, I see don't like that. Desserts. The most I ever see you do is maybe a sorbet at the I'll end. I'll do a sorbet. A mango sorbet will get me every time. A lemon sorbet. Maybe sometimes if they have key lime pie, I'll do that. Yeah. But on the whole, on no. The whole, I don't like Whereas desserts. I'm like, I'm saving room for this dessert, right? Yeah. Uh, I love apps, but um, but I have I thought about it because when you prompted this, this mm. match to me, which you did, I was like, can I make an argument for and against? And I think that I can. Okay. Yeah. What's up, guys? I am coming to your town, and you are coming uh, to see me in your town. And uh, I just Jedi mind tricked you. Come <laughs> go to salvocanocounty.com for all my dates. I am traveling the most I have in three years, and I would like to shout out that we have added second shows in Chicago at the Vic Theater, Madison at the Barrymore Theater, because you guys are just coming out strong. Also in Albany at the Egg, Pittsburgh at the Homestead Music Hall, and Detroit at the Royal... Royal Oak Music Theater, and of course, at Foxwoods in Connecticut. All of those have added second shows, but I'm also going to be making my way to Indianapolis, Cleveland, Des Moines, San Diego, LA, and actually Burlington. I think we might be adding another show too. So, Washington, D.C., uh, that's the last state I got. You guys got to come out. SalvoCanoComedy.com for tickets. All in January and February. I will see you there. Great. So we're doing appetizers versus desserts. Q's on apps. I'm on desserts. Uh, and hold on. Let's. All right. Uh, what, what is it? I still love you no matter what? No, no matter what happens, I love you. No matter, no matter what, what happens, happens, I love you. you. No, no matter, matter what happens, happens, I love you. No, no matter, matter what happens, happens, I love you. That's for Joe DeRosa only. All right. Okay. Great. All right. And it's time for, Oof. and then we say B-A-T-T-L-E buns. Okay. okay. It's time for, I can't believe I'm doing this, because I don't want to hear him being like, oh, it's fucking. Okay. It's time for B-A-T-T-L-E buns. buns. We did it now. We yeah, did it. Right. I had, no one it. can complain. Oh, he can complain. <laughs> He'll find someone we, to complain we have, We're going to have this, uh, we, we're just about, well, it might be out by this time January our merch is coming out finally hey, nice. and uh, we, we we made uh, hope we're making two different ball baseball caps like modeled after the old starter caps oh cool you know like you would say like New York and then Knicks in that like font yeah. and it would be like orange and blue or, yeah, or Boston Celtics mean. we're doing um, B-A-T-T-L-E and then Buds in the script on the thing <laughs> that's or great T sorry T-A-S-T-E Buds and then another one there was this we had a heated debate about cookies versus cake cookie versus rice, ice cream I think it was ice cream I was taking cookies, and it was it was one of those ones where we were at each other's throats. And then all of a sudden, I just realized, oh my god, I didn't even mention the Girl Scouts. And I was like, the Girl Scouts. Yeah. I go, the goddamn <laughs> Girl Scouts. At the top of my lungs, I was like purple. And then uh, the fans like to love that, and they picked up. It came like a little bit of a meme <laughs> thing. So we're also gonna have on top of the uh, one of the starter cats say the goddamn, oh. and then Girl Scouts <laughs> in script on the like the old starter cap. So oh, that's hype. funny. So hype. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look I, at this. Yeah. Yeah, I think I probably like ice cream versus cookies. I mean, I mean is the, is the thing on Hey Babe that uh, that 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 you and Chris are kind of like? <laughs> like into each other a little bit. Or no. Something? What do you mean? <laughs> because all the promo stuff for it is like the two of you rolling around shirtless, or <laughs> or the two of you like draped over each other. Or yeah, we, 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 uh, well, yeah, we 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 play fast and loose with the and rules. I see gay right there. I uh, gay babe. Oh, that was for Gay Pride Week episode. Okay, got so it. Said, hey right. babe, we renamed it. We I, I'm cool if that no, is. I I I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I no, don't. No, I know that. I know that. Yeah, no. it's just funny because like on the impression, well, me and him are not gay. 
But no, we, I know. We exhibit all the traits of 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 of, of gay men. I didn't know if you guys sex. you were playing you were playing into that angle. No, no, no. Nah. Nah. All uh, advertising is Fagazi. Yeah? <laughs> 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 oh, the theme song is amazing. Casey wrote it. Yeah, you know this theme song or no? Casey did both theme songs. No, I mean, <laughs> oh man, oh man. Because I I, wa I watched the clips on uh, on Instagram is where I yeah, catch yeah, my yeah. thing of you guys. I uh, so can you play? Can we play the each of the theme songs? So Casey did both of these, but but this isn't the full theme song, right? You don't get all the way on Casey's. No, I have to dig that out. Okay, so let's okay. just play the play the regular theme song for him. <laughs> Casey nailed it for both of them. Casey's good at stuff. Casey yeah. Jost, everybody. And he also did What Say Yous. At Casey Jost. Yeah. He also did What Say Yous, yeah. 100%, yes. Although that was a, an original song of his that we took. That we loved, yeah. How do we not have... I don't have... Ads, I know. Wow. But what do you, when you're working at home, you, you watch ads? <laughs> I said, "Give me, give me a Euro house." I, oh, my inspiration so to him was "I'm funny. Too Sexy" yeah. by Right Said Fred, oh, and great. he came back with that. It was awesome, that is right? Great. Which, by the way, wasn't the original thing. You made something that I really loved, and then people, when we introduced Casey's, were like, "Go back to the old one," because they just got used to it now. They don't even. You can't be Casey's. I yeah, mean. it's yeah. so funny. But even that has a very like, uh, you know. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we we like that. You know, it's funny too. Is like, cause cause I remember like when the Practical Jokers movie poster came out. If you look at it, I looked at it and I saw Joe. It looked to me, I was like, it looks like Joe is just plugging you in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> and Sal looked at it for like a beat. It was like a, it was like five seconds, and he goes, "Well, that's all I'll ever see now." When I look at it. <laughs> I see it. I see yeah, it. he's like behind you going, ah! <laughs> and you look like, ah! <laughs> I actually, I actually still really love that movie poster. Yeah. We, 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 we asked him to do, we wanted to be like a throwback, like the 80s movies, like it. the European vacation, like the, you know, yeah. those kind of like the Indiana Indiana Jones, vacation, Jones, Indiana yeah. Jones. The yeah. structure of the film itself was fun too. Did you guys have fun making the movie? Or? We did. We did. We, we had not fun at times, but we had fun yeah. too. It was stressful. We lived in Atlanta for about a month and a half or yeah, so wow. and um we didn't have any days off it was it was fun it, movies so weird it's like 16 hours a day and like half the day you're just sitting there yeah. did you have shorter days on on tv like what's the big yeah shorter oh. day? well when we first started our days were like eight to ten hours then they went down to like eight hours six to eight hours and now we have it like we can bang it out four hours sometimes. Six six yeah. hours, four to six hours. Yeah. Wow. But then sometimes we'll do two in a day to, to make up for right, that. Right. But, you know, usually it's about six hours if the bit is substantial. And yeah. if it's a shorter bit, we'll do two. Or, and then if it's a punishment, sometimes we could be in and out in four hours, which is yeah. a dream. It's amazing. It's a dream. It's amazing. So uh, I would go, uh, they call us on the movie at six in the morning. I get up at five in the morning, take a shower, get to wardrobe, put on all my wardrobe, put on all my makeup. I had my hair a certain way. I had all these jewelry things, fake earrings, all this stuff. Wigs, I had to wear a wig. Put it all on. <laughs> then go part. sit in the trailer, have eggs, and then you're just sitting in this trailer, and they, they give you the sides for the day, and... Sometimes I waited six hours before anyone came and got me. Yeah, it's it's it's. And we were like, can can we can we just assess this a little better? Because why am I getting up at five o'clock when I'm when I'm going to shoot at three p.m.? Yeah. <laughs> so it, 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 there were days like that. I think it's par for the course because that's how it is on other other movies and shows I've been on. But yeah. But maybe you know that was maybe a really bad one. But other than that, it was like it was kind of wild that we were filming a movie. Yeah. Full freaking movie. Like it was like it was just like we wild. Acted. Why we acted? That yeah. was my favorite part. Yeah, yeah. Like we we, we used to act in sketches all the time, so it was like that. But like, it was cool. Like, and you know, it was cool. Like Paul Abdul being in scenes with us. That was cool. You yeah. know, or I forget who else was in it. But like, I never uh, really think about the movie that much. I, I don't either. Isn't that weird? Like, yeah. you never, never think about it. You know, it was like, you know what it is? It was like it, it was in theaters when the pandemic hit. We were, we were going into our fifth week when it got pulled. So we're forever cemented as. What was in the movie theaters yeah. when everything shut down? And like the history was, it was all movie. And our and our movie was um, a limited release on like I think four hundred screens. I think something like yeah, like I don't even think it was. I don't know. Two hundred. It was either. Yeah, and then it, if it did well, it would expand, and it kept doing well. It did unbelievable. Our fans, man, and the word of mouth, and so it expanded from it doubled, then it tripled, then it, then all of a sudden in like the fourth week, we won thousands of screens, and they weren't going to do that because they don't want to. You don't. They don't want to just take that risk to put it in that many screens and have people don't go see. It. So, like always, you know, I like being on door, but we have to prove ourselves a little bit there. We didn't know. We didn't know either, though. And then yeah. the fans came out. It grew. It grew. It grew. And then we 
cracked the top ten, yeah. which I couldn't believe. Yeah, I couldn't believe. And then and and, and we we had battles too because like the the staff we had a different present network who greenlit the movie was gone by the time the movie came out. They they got replaced by somebody else who didn't have ownership of the movie. So it was almost like an afterthought for them. And then Warner Brothers, this about that. always fucking makes me fucking super happy, even though we have a great relationship with Warner Brothers. But we asked Warner Brothers, because they own us, like through company. You know, Warner Media, yeah. Warner Media. We, were like, we, we figured it was a home run for them to distribute the movie. Warner Brothers said no. We're like, we're not going to just, we don't know. Warner Brothers says, we don't know how to market small movies like this anymore, is what they said to us. So whatever, we self we self did it, blah, blah, blah. And then when the numbers start coming in, we got, our agents got an angry call from Warner Brothers being like, why didn't you bring this to us? This should have been our movie. This should have been ours. And, and our agent goes, it was the best thing ever to be able to say to them. <laughs> We brought it to you guys. You guys turned it down and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so. That's but, gangster. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, but it was, was like, cool. we, we had to grind. Like, we would go, we all split up, and we went on, like, for, like, a week or two, we would go two theaters to host the movie. We were doing, like, five, six theaters a day. So we just get in the thing, go to a yeah. movie time, then we tell everybody we're going to be there to yeah, drive yeah. sales, and then we we give an intro, do a little Q&A, leave, go to another movie, another movie, another movie, like, six, seven a day for, like, Two or three weekends. You made it happen. That's great. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I can't quantify no. it, what that did. Well, theaters were definitely because what I said, that car on the poster I bought. I own that. That's in my. That's in my. That's not my house. That's in like a, a garage somewhere near me, right now. And and I we spent time. I think you came for some of that. Where where because I got really sick. Remember, I couldn't go away. Yeah, the second time. Yeah, yeah like the no. Second me and we, you were in a car. In that we went in that car. Me, you one and Johnson time. drove. Yeah, one of the Jersey. Yeah. We drove down South Jersey and and hit like seven or eight movie theaters. And we told people we let people sit in the car and that's take so pictures cool. of the car. Yeah, but we like. also flew. Like we also flew all over the country. Yeah, that's but, you guys did that. I got. So I, sick. But I really don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. There's no way to well, quantify. Now that it. you've proved yourself, is there going to be another movie, or would you guys do a real scripted movie? That'd be cool. Yeah, I, I, as us though. No. I would do a scripted movie. I don't know if I'd be a Joker's movie. Yeah. We we got asked is on the heels of this, we got prompted to do another one. And uh I think we do, didn't think we'd do it right away. And then I think the heat for that has kind of died down as is yeah. the the movie industry on a whole, you know. But I mean it probably streams well. Uh, we, we we would also change things, you know, we we learned a lot from doing it. Yeah. And uh we would we would need to have certain control over certain things. Yeah, that was a bummer. Not the the thing about the movie is like, as, as wonderful as it is, and we make fr lifelong friendships on it, and um, there was so many positives about it, and it was just, uh, just a really great personal achievement for, for us, for me, whatever. But uh, it wasn't, uh, how we make the show and it wasn't the same exact crew as the show and we didn't have the exact same control as the show and there was a, just a lot of factors and elements at play we weren't in, we weren't in New York and uh, you know it goes up the chain of command and you know creative decisions that we, we didn't win every one of them and uh, so the movie didn't necessarily net out to the exact movie we would have made if we were left alone yeah. and so you know when you watch it you watch it afterwards that's what you focus on yeah that's you why know, so I initially said no they wanted to do a second one right away and I was like yeah because it was like you guys didn't give us like what they should have done is given us five million dollars and and said come back to us for the movie do whatever you want that's I don't what know. they should have done i don't understand if we because we're not in we, we never made a movie so they maybe they could say there's no precedent for that for us they don't know like it, it's always prove it prove it first prove it yeah. so i don't think they're going to do that without us proving it first i think we kind of proved it with this and that's why i think we could have had another one and maybe we could have set our terms a little bit more but the terms in getting this movie we had to concede a bunch yeah. and so we did it we said, well, we want to do this or not. And we just, we were a little bit iffy. And then we're like, well, let's just do it. When are we getting a chance to do this? And so we conceded a bunch of things. Yeah. And that, that's all it is. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's also fine. Like it, It's it, fine. With that came good decisions, too. Yeah, like, we, it's not like this, everything that... There's things yeah. in the movie well, I absolutely you. love. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I love it. I, there's things I love about it. There's things I don't like about it. I think that's probably got to be the same for everything, any movie. Sure. You know, it's it's our it's our baby, so it's like hard to like relinquish decisions. We did, but um, but yeah. I think the fans. We, we did enough for the fans. The fans liked it. I think so and this him. shit in there that I love, and and like yeah. I said, the relate like the director. Chris Henchy is the best. He's like uh, he's such a good friend. He's still now. a friend, dude. He's I'd love to work with Henchy again. I would do yeah. that, that in a yeah. heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's our boy. I actually just saw him. We saw him yeah, a couple, Saturday, couple we days ago. Hanging out with him. Yeah. He, came, he came to the Borgata show. I swear, I'd love to watch you guys write a script, a comedy movie written by like just not yourselves, not the Jokers, yeah. the real narrative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love we're that. we're working on stuff. For, we have the development deal uh, that we're working on, and we're working on some scripted stuff that is not us yeah. right now. 
You had a cold so, play about it. And and but but like the, but the best part to discuss, you know, this is why like when you have dinner, you you have all these discussions at the beginning of dinner because you're eating the appetizers. <laughs> like these these fun conversations, not, nice, not like at the babe. end of a dinner, not at the end of a dinner nice, when everybody babe. just wants to go the fuck home. Oh, wow, and everybody's worried about who's paying the bill and like you know what I mean, like shit like that. You know, you have these fun discussions at the beginning. For me, for me, for yeah. me. Hey, taste buddies, have you guys checked out Noom yet? Noom N O O M is basically an app that you can get that helps you to uh, change the psychology about the way you uh, interact with food. That's the best way to do it. It's not really a good diet. It's more of a program. Uh, instead of setting like strict rules or whatever, it empowers you with practical knowledge to build smarter, more sustainable habits. That's what it's about. It's not about a diet change. It's about a lifestyle change. And they know that everybody's different and they believe in progress, not perfection. So it's not one of those things that hammers you. If you do wrong, you're falling off the wagon. They don't believe that, you know, you could eat anything. That's not, that's something. Did you know that? When you, when I you, because Chrissy uses it and he tells me about it. Chris said the other day that he got on the, on the wagon again, um, <laughs> about being healthy. And he said for the last 10 days, he's been being strict. Uh, and he said he's, he's, he's been using Noom. He said to me yesterday that he swears, cause you said to him, you look, oh wow, you look a little bit better. He's like, it's been 10 days only, but he's been so strict and, and he's been using this that he says, and he, he, he feels better and he feels more mental clarity. I know that sounds like something that we would say for this, but that boy said that to me in my foyer like two days ago. No, he needs the direction. He needs this. Right, because he's one of those guys that just goes off one way or the other way. Bad. So he gets intense. This is why this is good for him. And he follows it. He follows, you know, and then, and then it works for him and then he'll just go eat like, he'll eat like a whole hot dog truck. <laughs> Uh, they won't tell you what you can eat, so they don't believe in good or bad foods. They just give you the, the knowledge to make your informed choices to fit the lifestyle for you. An off day is okay. It won't set you off course. They just get you back on track. It's 10 minutes a day, and they just teach about eating habits. The stats they have showed me are that more than 75% of users complete the program. More than 60% of the users lose 5% or more body weight within four months, 16 weeks. And more than 60% of the users engage with the program, and they keep the weight off for a year or more that's their stats pretty cool uh let's see let's see what goals are you working toward right now all right what, what do you want to what do you want to work toward with it noom can help you you can share uh I, for me like it's because it for me it's not just about losing weight it's about having more energy so that was a big thing for me because like i'm still sluggish all the time so this actually helps you getting more energy and that's what chris said to me yesterday too um you don't need rules to lose weight okay just the knowledge and wisdom to empower you to build more sustainable habits uh with noom taking care of your health is empowering instead of stress inducing no need for fear of ruining the whole program with an off day like we said it'll get you right back on track 10 minutes a day guys no grueling workouts in the morning and no big chunks out of your day start building better habits for healthier long-term results sign up for your trial at noom start building better habits for healthier long-term results sign up for your trial at noom.com slash taste bud no s leave off the less s for savings <laughs> sign up for your free trial at noom.com slash taste bud that's n-o-o-m dot com slash taste bud n-o-o-m dot com slash taste bud Butcher box, butcher box, butcher box. Say it three times in the mirror and you get just meat. <laughs> you get 14 pounds of meat delivered to your door. It's very much like candy, man. Uh, I love butcher box. Uh, I don't like going in, out in public. And I really actually don't know how to choose good meat because I'm not really the best cook. So meal prepping is usually difficult for me, but butcher box makes it easy. Uh, it's a subscription service. It takes the guesswork out of finding meat. You don't have to go there and talk to somebody about the meat. You don't have to poke at the meat. You don't have to wonder if that blood seeping out of the pan package is like gonna kill you uh butcher box sources that meet from partners with the highest quality and standards so they're taking all that work for you no more searching the grocery store they have 100 percent grass-fed beef free-range organic chicken wild caught seafood much more uh my favorite from them is is the seafood because i'm trying to eat a little healthier right now uh their sourcing decisions are made holistically keeping the farmer the planet and the animal and all that in mind um yeah so let me know uh you know if you guys like it me and christy have been using it it's nuts because they send up to each boxing container to eight to 14 pounds of meat which sounds like a lot but you do go through it you really do oh, especially yeah. if you start cooking more if you start cooking a couple times a week you'd be surprised how fast it goes um um, it's enough for 24 meals, what they sent. There's no antibiotics, no hormones. They ship all over the continental United States, packed fresh, ship frozen for convenience. 
You customize what you want, and you can pick from pre-selected boxes. For a limited time, Butcher Box is offering new members. For a limited time, Butcher Box is offering new members a great deal for New Year. Uh, sign up and at butcherbox.com slash taste buds and you'll receive the ultimate New Year's bundle in your first box. This deal includes ground beef, chicken thighs, and pork butt. That's more than seven pounds of meat added to your first box for free. Get this New Year's bundle before it's gone by going to butcherbox.com slash taste buds. For me, yeah. for me, first of all, a few things. Appetizers, you're flying too close to the sun. You, you, please. You the appetizers are almost the whole point. But most yeah. of the time, if you're like me and you sit down, when you're ready to eat, you're ravenous. You ever have a taquito? I have. Love a taquito. Right. You don't have that dessert taquitos. No, but here's what I can do. Yeah. I can say, you know what? I like taquitos, yeah. but instead of giving me four, yeah. give me eight. I'll have the taquitos for my main. And all of a sudden, any appetizer I want can become my main. I just double the plate size. But then, so I don't have to lose out on the app. I don't, you, I don't lose out on traditional. About? I don't lose what out are you on. What talking about? I don't you lose, do lose out on the app. No, you, I don't you lose, just subtracted. You didn't add. Well, no, I don't lose out on a traditional food that could be an app. I could always make an app my main, right? But why would you do that? Like then if, it's not if, an if app. If you're talking potato skins, yeah, it's an app. I could just be like, never mind sharing the skins. I'll take, I'll take it all to myself. How does, how does it mean? And I can still eat the potato skins. I don't lose out. There's I no, can eat apple pie for dinner. It doesn't mean anything. No, you can't though. Of course I can. No, you can't eat dinner. That's not. That's not. <laughs> what are you talking about? Still, I'm still eating regular food. I can transfer yeah, but, an but, appetizer to a main, and it'll but be why regular would food. You do that. You can't eat but apple then pie. Then it's not an appetizer. Die. But then it's not an appetizer. By the way, it, then it's a main. Well, here's the thing. I think people fly too close to someone appetizers. What, what does I think that mean? Is, what does that mean? I think everyone explain that to everybody. I think I think everyone gets screwed with appetizers. Greek mythology. Comes into appetizers it. are appetizers are they come they f main all the time. Your appetizers f main. You don't even believe I, what you're I saying. Go, I dine you don't out. even believe what you're saying. I dine out, he's baby. bullshitting. He no. doesn't even believe what he's saying. I, I, I right swear now. to God, I do. I swear to God, this I swear to God, you can see the passion in my voice. I I've dine seen out a lot. Eat. I love going to really nice restaurants. I go to my favorite restaurants all the time, and I say I got to try a sampling of everything, and I always order appetizers. AKA appetizers. And every time it happened to us at Quality Italian recently. Every single time I go, oh these apps, these apps, these apps, and then. The most expensive part, the main comes out, and I'm like, oh, I am so full right now. And I take a few bites of my main, and yeah. I take it home. And the main is probably a wonderful dish that I don't get to enjoy because I'm too full from the apps. The appetizers, your appetite, your, you have an appetite. Yeah. <laughs> you have an appetite and you have to eat dinner and then they're like before we can get you to the, it's just a scam from restaurants like I could go order my food and eat my food why am I ordering Gaffigan is a bit oh that's the food we have before we have our food like imagine yeah. telling that to countries like oh no you're talking about dessert that's the food we have after we have our food Yeah, like you could just go okay. sit down and I could have a pork chop and I went to dinner right. but now they're, they're, it's all marketing they're like before your pork chop uh -uh. you have an appetite we'll tease why do you tease your appetite but you're an adult you can make a decision well that's why I'm saying I don't. I, I would say if I well, had to choose. Let me ask you a question. That night, that night, a quality Italian that you're talking about. We 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 did overdo the apps. That's for sure. Yeah. How was the dessert? We couldn't get it. Then we had to run. Oh, that's right. That's because dessert's the most disposable part of the. Ah, uh, you set me up on that. I set you up on that. That's because if you have to no. lop off a part of the meal to get to your show, <laughs> or in this case, the Ghostbusters premiere, no. I'll tell you what's the expendable one. No. It's the dessert not true because honestly if i knew i had limited time yeah. to begin with and i didn't think i'd make it there would be a frank conversation with me and my participants at the table is do we want to do apps or do we want to do dessert yeah if we don't only have enough time let's get that main and get that dessert in there dessert is a beautiful curveball that sends you on your way Mm, dessert is like you're real, dessert is like you're shoving on top of everything the dessert, that's disgusting. The dessert you're getting a dish coming from a completely different chef. It's a different person. You're getting their creation and their expertise. Whereas the same person who cooked the app is cooking the main. So what the hell does that have to do with anything? Because <laughs> I don't care about that. I just that. think that you're getting more of a breath of people's professions. At, by the time a pastry dessert, chef is not a regular chef, appetizers are. Um, just a fucking gift. I would never, I think you actually said it best when you were like, you wouldn't make dessert a main meal, but appetizers, every one of them is so delicious that they in of themselves could be the main meal. But the beauty of it is you can have 
more than just the main meal. Uh, it's not just it's you can have steak and the potatoes. That's skins. a very gluttonous you, way of thinking, though. That's welcome to the USA. That's I fine. understand that. How but is that? We, 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 have a, we, have a, we have an epidemic of, of of obesity in this country. I'm on. I'm, I'm in that. I'm in that bucket probably. And it's and all you because. Think, and you think the answer to that's dessert? <laughs> <laughs> like like no, you trained. could have you could have salad for yeah, appetizer. But I like to do a savory and a sweet. That's my jam. Okay. But okay. Look, all I'm saying is, it's well, now just, you're switching tactics. It's just, just the middle extra, of it. But it's extra food. You, it's yeah. just more, uh, more no. food of the food you're already getting. Where no. the dessert is not more of what you're getting. It's a departure from what you're getting. First of all, you roll in, you're fucking hungry. You're going to order food. That food's going to take time to make. But those taquitos are coming out in 15 no, minutes. So that's, so that's, now, a, that's a scam. That's the, how that's is a that the scam? That's a ruse. That's a Otherwise, ruse. your dinner's over too fast. No, no. no. So, no. Now, so now you're ordering extra buckets and plates of food so well, you can Again, where are you going where you're like, get me a bucket of taquitos? <laughs> yeah, to extend the experience. So like, sit down and be like, all right, we're well, having dinner. All right, thank you. I'm very hungry. I, I will take the steak. I like my medium well. It takes a little more time to make because you, you bring out the taquitos beforehand. I mean, you're really hell bent on these taquitos. I mean, now the pictures. I don't see. Right I don't. There. I don't normally see taquitos on a menu. I really don't. I like them. I love taquitos. Uh, potatoes, kids. but here's the thing. Wings. I can. But I can have taquitos yeah. anytime. I can have them for the main. You don't have ice cream in your freezer right now. I do. Oh, so you have I have Jenny's anytime. ice cream. Shout out to Jenny's. Great work, Jenny. Delicious. But you can have it anytime you want as well. No, no. But what I'm saying is, you, the reason you can't eat the dessert for the main is because it's not nutritionally sustainable. It's a treat. It's a send off at the end. You couldn't have dessert for dinner every night. You would die. Right. Okay. okay. That's not. And that's not get it twisted. Dessert is sugar. Sugar is poison. I get sure. it. All right. But it's 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 it's, it's, it's yeah, in moderation. It's I, okay. I, your whole premise is about what you're about to say is is predicated on me accepting that appetizers are just small versions of the meal. I don't feel like that's what they are. But all I'm saying is a lot of times we get the apps. Yeah. The apps are great. They satiate you, and then they ruin the main course. And the main course is really supposed to be the star of the show. It's supposed to be the best dish. It's supposed to be the signature you know, dish that you're right. getting. But it's just a steak. little bit of self-control. Everything <laughs> can be okay. You don't have to eat all the taquitos. I know, but you do. We you do. Don't. You're you lying don't. if you say you don't eat you all the don't. taquitos. And how many people are you having dinner with? It's like if it's do you want okay, but I'll, I've I'm I'm not saying I don't do it. I've done right. it. I'm speaking from experience. I've eaten alone and ordered an appetizer. I've eaten yeah. with two people and ordered four appetizers. Okay, I've eaten with a huge table of people and ordered a huge bunch of appetizers. So what do you have against appetizers? I, if I'm putting them against dessert, I pick dessert because dessert appetizer is just more of a let's let's say you're having a hot savory dish for dinner. Okay. It's repetitive. Because the appetizers are also that, no, so no, then it your be main, spinach dip with chips. Your main becomes more of the same. It could be, it could be, it could be spinach dip with chips. That, I I'm understand, but that. that is a salty, savory type of thing. Delightful, it is. By the time dessert comes, I all I want to do is get away from these people. Well, <laughs> by the time, okay, well, by the time the main comes, I'm full from the app. Uh, here's, here's here's what I'll tell you: eat half I can eat, the I can eat. apps that you eat. It's, that's not true. No one eats half. No one eats half the apps. What are you you're talking about? A waiter comes over. You finish. You're, yeah. you're enjoying the app. Yeah. There's half left. He goes to take it. You don't go. You don't, no, you don't, I, don't, I don't perform a salt. <laughs> I, 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 if anything, it's like, hey, wrap those quesadillas up. I'll take them home. All right, but I you end. You're up, not wrapping any dessert. You end up wrapping the main. That's true. Whoa. Nobody yeah. takes home You're dessert. Not wrapping any Nobody dessert. Nobody wrap, wraps yeah. dessert. You 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 take the spoon and you get every last piece no, of that dessert. That's every not last true. piece. Nobody walks away with nope. dessert on the plate. People no. are people. You, you know what they I've say? I've done it. Here's the app. You know what? You know what this? There's what? a saying. You ever heard of it? You have room for dessert. This is the way that says it. You know why he says that? Because the apps. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Do no. you have room for dessert? The reason he's because asking of the that. apps. You. The reason he's asking you that is because his check is based on a percentage of the tip. The tip is based on uh, the tip is based on a percentage of the check. He knows if he could sell you a fucking fifteen dollars slice of ice cream, scoop of ice cream, he he's getting a dollar fifty. What about that the tip. people that are like he, that, you're getting run by a scam? No, that, no, no, you're no. getting scammed. But the reason he has to prompt you to see if you're okay for the intake yeah. is because you overloaded at the top. So you think he doesn't ask people that question? If you don't order appetizers, he just assumes you're having dessert. Sometimes. No. Well, then then he's going to ask you. So he's asking you in both cases. Yeah, but it really is because of the app. A lot you of, you a lot have of times, never been a waiter in your life. <laughs> a lot of times. I did. I waited when at the bar. When did you wait? You were a bartender. Bar. Yeah, but I waited at the, at the bar. Okay. But right. uh, So do, uh, do you have room for dessert? Yeah. Sometimes. I don't like some, dessert. Sometimes they say at the top. Are you leaving room for dessert? Are you? They even 
predicated. Oh, Are you guys leaving oh, room for dessert? My, or? It, is, it is so sad to see my friend come such a sucker for the upsell. You used to be savvy, man. And like now you're just a sucker. He's pre-selling you dessert. He's already, he, your check is, he's chess. He's, he's up in that bill left and right. Anything to drink? Would you like some coffee? To ching, yeah, I know. To ching, <laughs> to ching. No, but the reason the and question is. And they throw is, you a fucking mint. The reason the question is. Congratulations. <laughs> the reason the question isn't, are you having dessert? And do you have room for dessert? Yeah. Is because we stuffed our faces, no. starting with four apps before the main. And That's what, what the, it is. I'll tell you what right now. I like apps. I'm making an argument against the theory of them. Because I'll tell you right now, cut out the main. I could go from apps to dessert. I can go over apps to dessert, but then you're cutting out the main. I can't do apps main dessert. You can. I've seen you do no, it. No, I mean, I do do it. <laughs> but if I had to choose, yeah. I would cut out the app, not the dessert. Okay. Well, I think that's... That I've look, taken apps home. I've sent... App, I've. You. That's another thing for apps. You can take app home and have them at two in the morning. That's fine. But... You can't do that with ice cream. You. Well, ice cream, maybe. You can't but, do it with it. But every other dessert. What other dessert? Apple pie a la mode? You bringing that home? Every single dessert. Pie, cake, cookies. You you eat half a half a piece of cake. You're like wrap that up and take that home? Oh yeah. But Come no, on. but you don't though, because Come nobody on. eats half a piece of cake. What are you, a psychopath, a sociopath? <laughs> Nobody eats half a piece of cake. You, you, make, you make these things up and then you try to hold me to them. I don't agree with you that people don't leave cake behind when they're done at the table. They Show me the person that doesn't eat that cake. Podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. They are one of our biggest, most recurring sponsors. And uh, let's talk about them. Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? That rings true for most of us. Uh, there is for me. Uh, I have a lot of shit weighing on me that I'm not going to get into now. <laughs> but we all need an outlet, people. BetterHelp assesses your needs and matches you with a licensed professional therapist. In under 48 hours, it could happen. It's not a crisis line. It's just prof professional counseling. It's all done online. It's all secure. And they have experts from all over that you may not be able to have access to if you just went to somebody in your area. It's clients worldwide. They are upping um, all of their uh, therapists uh, because it has become so popular. Um, you can go on their website, betterhelp.com, go to slash taste buds, uh, and join over a million people who have taken charge of their mental health. That's BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P, uh, dot com slash taste buds. So many people are doing it. I said they are recruiting additional counselors. There's a special offer for you guys, our taste bud listeners, is 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash taste buds. And of course, we have a special offer for you guys, for our Taste Buds listeners, our buddies. You'll get 10% off your first month, so go do it now. Check it out. Can't hurt. It is betterhelp.com slash taste buds. Pimp, you're a pro. You're a pro at everything you do. Oh, yeah. You're a videographer, editor, photographer. And do you love Canva Pro or what? I love them. It helps me edit this show, actually. Well, think about the world of difference before there was something like this available to you to now. And and because you could speak to it even more than I can because you are in there in the trenches and you, you work on this podcast and you work on a lot of media. Oh, yeah. Right? Online it's media. incredible resource. You have video, photo, templates, all this different type of stuff. You just click through it. All in one source. Canva Pro is a design platform that empowers you to create and share stunning content with just a few clicks. Designing with them is fast. It's fun. You can choose from thousands. Thousands of templates, like like Pim said, they're all ready to customize and to or to start from scratch. Uh, they have fonts, photos, videos, and more that add personality and edge to whatever you're designing. Um, they have an extensive library of tools. Uh, you don't have to go searching on the internet. It really makes it easy. It's all right there. Designing has never been easier. Sharing, editing, and commenting in real time it helps you stay organized and on the same page atop of team projects. Uh, projects, no more misplaced files or tedious back and forth because you can house everything right there. Plus, you and four teammates can unlock everything Canva Pro has to offer for just twelve ninety nine a month. That is pretty damn good deal if you're working on a project of, for all that provides with five different people. Uh, their content planner, you'll save time planning, creating, and posting to social media. Uh, design like a pro with Canva Pro. Right now, you can get a free 45-day extended trial when you use our promo code. Design like a pro with Canva Pro. Right now, guys, you can get a free 45-day extended trial when you use our promo code. Just go to canva.me slash taste buds to get your free 45-day extended trial. That's C-A-N-V 
a dot m e canva dot me slash taste buds canva dot me slash taste buds coming to the mic so you're, you're, look you're, I, i've even done this with apps tell me i've done this it's not even like uh wrap the app up i'll take it home there were times where i go they go you want to wrap that i go nah. and i and i let them take the app that i paid for back i don't know why you would do that that's on because you because i've had enough if you go to your it's fridge it's wasteful if you order much. apps and eat half it's wasteful no, you, it's not that's wasteful. how we're trained clean your plate and what are you want to talk about wasteful how about this how about yeah i'll take an orange sorbet yeah, and it fucking rolls up in a in a in a in a, in a, in a fucking scoop of orange. That's out with a giant thing like that. That orange, we're throwing that in the garbage. You want to talk about people in other countries? Yeah, uh, we're throwing fucking rot like you don't fruit think, out. You don't the think the, sed- the segments from those things are going into a beautiful salad? But it doesn't matter. That that it's a whole orange, wasted, gone, done uh, for a fancy sorbet. That's bullshit, man. And that's pretentious as shit. Just give it to me in a bowl. Yeah, well, it's about the experience. It's not an experience. It's a sensory experience. Okay. Why, what are the advantages of eating an appetizer? Yeah. <laughs> where, where the latest scientific research has shown that eating appetizers before meals helps to lose weight and lose more calories because eating appetizers abundantly fools the centers of satiate, satiety in the stomach and prepares for the feeling of rapid fullness because it is known scientifically that the nerves are blah, 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 blah. That is, I don't know where you Google that from. That is such yeah. bullshit. Because what people do bullshit. is they push that's, through it. That's the first. This isn't some whole, fucking, this isn't some conspiracy theory website. That's the first thing that comes up on Google. But my, that was my opening. That's vetted. My that opening vetted. argument was that appetizers fuck mains. And they're telling you that. that, that okay, great. So great. So great. Uh, an upside is that I, 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 I eat less oh, calories because I can't. Are you out of your mind? Because I can't eat my pork chop now. Stuff. So now that's so I lose less clams. Calories. Uh, uh, appetizers right that's gonna fill your stomach to have two or three stuffed clams no yeah. but but i'm talking about the the appetizer the broad sense of an appetizer yeah. you can go in there and go light on an appetizer and eat just of eat course, stuffed clams of course. sure but you're not gonna eat stuffed clams all the time other times you're gonna get some bangers in there you're gonna get some big 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 name stuff well, in what's there. a banger well, it depends on the type of restaurant right? are we at a local bar and grill are we at a, a pizzeria or are we, at, are we at a five-star restaurant Dealer's choice Think about all the apps that came out at the Italian place you went to. I can't recall them all, but well, they were if we on. Order f- oh, come on, man. Like, we ordered all those apps. But, but, you, okay. you don't have to live like I that. I think apps. <laughs> you could just order, like, a nice app. But this is not the way people are trained. We are trained to order a bunch of apps and then be full for the main. And they, they call it saving calories. But what it is is you, you're being wasteful both to your wallet and to the, and to the earth. I don't know if Sustain. overpaying for frozen milk is the way to go, uh, you know, in terms of saving money. But how are you at the end of the meal? There's nothing more I want to do than just go home. Go home. And you assault me with these desserts. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Where you like just suddenly said. like it's another way. And then people's fucking spoons are going, oh, that looks good. And like dessert, the corn goes out the fucking the window. Dirty digits in them. That's all right. Everybody I can pick up like this. I can pick up like this. Oh, you're biting a chip and you're putting it right back in the dip. Who does that? Nobody's doing that in my watch. Well, people Not do in it. my watch. People do it. It's people the same do people that put things. the spoons in the, in the other person's sorbet. No, that, it's more acceptable. Dessert's more of a community thing. And uh, you know what? I, I don't want to say that. I don't agree with that. I think they're neck and neck. But I think the dessert is messier than the appetizer. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Why, when the dessert comes, you're, you're claiming, all I want to do is go home. I'm full, but you, I'm you, I'm but you gave the appetizer a pat on the back Love for it. extending the meal. Yeah, the, the best part of the meal. You get there, everybody's excited to see each other. You're a little peckish. But you why can't focus that on moment that? be the main? Because mains take time to create. Appetizers are meant to be quick and out at the table as soon as possible. Okay, that theory is decent. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it removes the peckishness, makes you enjoy it. Everybody's but, most but, excited over apps. But what I'm saying is if you're going to a place and I go to you tonight, yeah. you could have a wonderful main and a dessert, or apps and a main and no dessert. Well, you know I'm doing that. Never mind, because you don't like sweets, though. I, I Look, but, I en- I can enjoy these things. But, I, I just, I think that they're their own thing. But but either way, the meal is the same length. Okay, if you get apps and a main, it's 45 minutes. If you get a main and a sweet, I'll tell you it's what, 45 I minutes. Saying. I'll tell you why. Because let's say I just had a steak. Yeah. I'm ready to go. That's when I, I'm not going home because of time. I'm going home because I got a nice See, steak I'm, in my stomach. I'm ready to get, sh- I'm ready to get a sweet. Yeah. Salty I, sweet. Okay, but I think like, 
Well, that's fine, but like I'm just telling you why I'm just like I'm done. I, like I don't need the I don't need the the guy coming trying to bull me to getting a sorbet, and then and then and then they are like, well, here, what sorbet do you have? You. We got a fucking a melon sorbet. They might as well play wah, wah, over the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, it's but like, that's the shit. But there's so and much a tiramisu. Good what the fuck is a tiramisu? Go to Pepolino's, get yourself a cheesecake. Forget about it. You'll, 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 your balls will blow off. Yeah, but the cheesecake really kind of got co-opted into the whole thing. A cheesecake's for going to someone's house hey i came over here guys nice cheesecakes let's have a nice cheesecake are on the menu in restaurants since the dawn of time yeah but that's not their main focus their main focus is is, is to bring to people what, oh you oh you, 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 you have a, what about your father died i, I brought a cheesecake what about uh, that's a isn't that a fruit cake it's all sorts of cakes okay my point being what about what about uh, co -op desserts it. desserts can be very very delicate and dainty and, like and petite desserts at fine dining establishments a lot of times they come out they're works of art <laughs> like what and, and 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 they're only a few spoonfuls I, I have stuff like that all the time like what just anything in that version no but it, it is hard to like you know they'll 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 have like a you know it'll just be a small portion dessert where you yeah. get the you get the benefit of the dessert but you're not overloading and that's you. Let me ask you something, just so I understand where you're coming from. Do you prefer that, or do you prefer like your average hearty dessert? And I don't mean that as an insult. No, no, I, I prefer either. You know, I prefer either. Whatever. This is. I, I like. I like the ceremony of dessert. I like the fact that, like, so when when you go to a, a meal, it's a sensory experience. What do you want to go through life without jalapeno poppers? No, I'll just have them as my main. If I have to choose, if I have, so, so now you don't want steak. If I have to choose, right. if I have to choose, like if I'm gonna go watch the game downstairs, yeah. I'll make a, a box of jalapeno poppers. Yeah, yeah. I'll top it off with a cookie. I don't need oh, the hamburger in the middle. But I don't make myself three course meals at home either, though. Like, I know. You can't but really what I'm say saying that. is, I could always have my app as my main if I so choose. People like crab cake. I go make that a main. They put two crab cakes on it. Now all of a sudden, I got two crab cakes. I'm eating the same thing that you ate for the appetizer I, for my main. I understand your theory. I'm just saying. In our long friendship, I don't think I've ever heard you say that. I don't think I've ever heard you say, double up the crab cakes, that'll be my main. We have. What are you talking We've about? That on you the and Dano sit down and you order fucking 50 things. He does that. And, and then the two of you start trading off. He does that. You... No, you do split skis with them all the yeah, time. Yeah, but my right, but I'm saying I like you get split skis, I can't because split skis only work with two. Yeah, I know. It happens all the time. You, yeah, I listen to me. You guys Okay, let's take going out to eat or eating in okay. general. Eating in general, we it is for sustenance, but yeah. also it has become a, a very, like I said, it's a social. very sensory, yeah. social experience. So for to awaken my senses, I'd rather have both ends of the coin. I'd rather have a savory yeah. food, and I'd, I'd like to have the experience of the flip side of that coin with sweet. If I'm not having the dessert, I'm having just more of the same side of the coin. You want to walk into a restaurant, sit down, and be like, I will have a steak, and then that's it. And then, and then you're just sitting there for the forty minutes of the steak. Oh, no, I get sides. I get sides. Well, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you give me get a steak, a baked potato, and maybe a green, some broccoli. Where, where's there. salad in and, this? And where's then, salad in and, this? Oh well, that's. I don't think salad ca counts as an appetizer. Okay, I don't. Oh well, well, I appreciate that. Yeah, and I will say that a salad is a really nice starter. Yeah. It's good for digestion. Mm. It is usually light enough. Oh, yeah, and you and, and and it can. It's easy to not make it healthy, but it can be healthy. Yeah, and then you get in a little diversity. Yeah, and it's a uh, you know you're still getting that time in there. You're getting a good twenty minute section for. I don't know though if I'm a, if I'm at say a Chili's that I would want to their starter salad over jalapeno poppers or a fucking blooming onion. I a understand, but onion. then at the end, you don't want a brownie a la mode at the end? I, I, if I never had a brown, another brownie the rest of my life, I, I would be fine with it. <laughs> that is a personal choice, so that's not it a popular convention. Choice. Yeah, right, brownies yeah. are people's, like, brownies, forget about it. I saw someone get shot for a brownie. I, I can't, I, see, it's funny because, like, I think that it's easier for me to obtain in my personal life a cheesecake, a scoop of ice cream, sorbet. I think those are easy to get. I, what the fuck am I going to get a jalapeno popper from? I'm not making um, a quesadilla. I'm six, babe. It's just in the frozen foods. Yeah. You're not dicing one up at home. I get that. Yeah, get that. That, that's what I mean. Like, I, I, these things, like... I should tell you, I love appetizers. Yeah, of course. But I'm I don't just... Think you're an animal. In this, in this instance... You're just saying if you had to cut one off, you would... You would I gotta you, go dessert. Go. It, I don't think you'd be it's happy. Just, it's the yin-yang. It's I the seesaw. I think you got big eyes right now. I think that you are... You love dessert, and you can't imagine your life without it. But I think, in theory, if you tried to go without appetizers, you wouldn't make it. Wow! I don't like. Think I would, would die. It. 
I don't know if you'd die, but I don't think you'd be happy, man. It's like you would look at that menu. Remember, you're, you're ordering appetizers when you're hungry, and, and, and the menu is a feast. I'm starving, by the way. Yeah. I'm starving right, right now. now. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like the menu is a I order so many apps. I, are you, do, let me ask you this. Do you order dessert when you order the meal, or do you wait till the meal's over and then, and then look at the desserts? That one. You like that one. I've never done what you just said the first time. Have you? No, but I don't really order dessert. That but much. who do, does people do people sit down right. and be like, and for dessert, uh, this this is for dessert of that? Yeah, but that's what I mean. If if you're not the person that's like, I'm saving room for ice cream. Like to me, the menu, you crack it open, you get that excitement. I'm hungry. Oh, the taquitos. Yeah, we're gonna start with that. Oh, this is oh, actually blah, 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 blah. this is actually probably something. I think that this is skewed and yeah. weighted in your direction because it's psychological. And actually, because when you arrive at the restaurant, the appetizers are the first thing you get to eat, and usually yeah. you're hungry. So they register in your but brain. That's part of why they're great. But no, 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 no. Because the first thing you eat, no matter what, will make you feel that way. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. If you if you went in but and that just means it's great. If you went in and ordered a burger. <laughs> You're telling me the reason it's great. No, no, but if you went in and ordered the burger yeah. and nothing prior to the burger. Yeah. When they bring the burger over, you you have the excitement that you would have for the app. But Apps, we are psychologically trained to think that they're the thing that we most anticipate because they come out first and we're hungry. But well, they really, come they come out they, fast they, and they, first. They, they come out first because we make them come out first. If the if the main came out first, I would feel the same about no, the main. No, the idea is that the main should take longer to prepare. Right. That's why appetizers exist. That's why you get so excited. I think it's a money though. grab. And that's, that's a, what I, how I feel about dessert. That's an, right. Well, that's another reason you don't like dessert. It comes at the end, and you're too full. You're I'm done already with it full. Already. But if you didn't eat the apps, you could have a new relationship no, with dessert. No, no, no. Yes, no, it would no, flourish no, no, your no, relationship. No, because I could, I could just have the. Because it's enough for me to be full with without the apps. If I just have a steak, half a baked potato, and broccoli, like I'm full already. That's nice. But you know how you said if I went without apps forever, I wouldn't make it? Yeah. Like, if you just did that forever and never yeah. gave yourself a dessert, you'd be able to deal with that? Yeah, because I don't I really... I think I'm addicted to sugar, maybe, then. You might be. I also don't... I I, it, it, I don't like sweets. I'm not a cookies... I don't like cookie. Yeah. You and Gata are all about cookies. the fucking cookies. Yeah. All that shit, like, it would, it would never occur to me to have... Really, sweets in general isn't my thing. All right. You know? All right. So I, I don't know, but I do feel you're gonna you're gonna take a drumming on this. I I I I, I, uh, I think most people see. I know people disposable. people love apps, Absolutely. and especially Holy I think God. that people in this day and age are skewed to more healthy habits. And even though apps are not, I feel like uh, people are gonna just lop in dessert with an unhealthy habit. You get Thai like Thai. I I'll go to Thai uh, lettuce wraps. Thai lettuce wraps. Talk, hold the peanuts. You talk, you're talking Cheesecake Factory to me. Yeah. Guess yeah. you're talking the cheesecake. Factory? Yeah. yeah. You brought up a place that's predicated on dessert. And even they know that they can't go at it without appetizers. <laughs> Think about that. You they have five up, pages of appetizers. Yeah, 25 pages. Yeah. You brought up, though, the yeah. Cheesecake Factory. What a perfect send yeah, off but you already know, to my argument. I've already said to you that I don't feel that. I feel that cheesecakes were co-opted as a dessert. No. They were family visiting items. Babe, the factory. Don't. It's a, they, they say, they lure you in yeah. with, the, with the promise of cheesecakes. Cheesecakes are great. And everything else is an afterthought. I, cheesecakes are great. Ice creams are great. Yeah, All these things are great. The, the reason you're, you're going forcing to the, them into dessert rolls. What? They're by definition dessert. No, absolutely not. I, uh, ice cream is not by definition a dessert. You mean when you were a kid and the ice cream truck came by, you were like, I got to run inside, eat dinner real quick, then go out and get an ice cream? Or you're like, fuck it, get me a cone. No, but dessert doesn't only have to come after a meal. That's another beautiful thing. An appetizer, by definition, has to come before something else you eat. I disagree. A dessert is dessert whenever no. you have no, dessert. No, no, no. Dessert is part of the meal. Nah. Of course so it when is. You go buy, when you go grab an ice cream from an ice cream truck, what are, you, dessert? what are you having? I have ice cream. <laughs> what? I mean, I have ice cream. How would you categorize the ice cream? A uh, 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 summary treat. Is that why we a fucking treat? A treat is it a is dessert. Not, uh, look, can you look up the definition of dessert? Did you have a jalapeno pop up and be like, I have, I'm having a treat. No, but I wouldn't sit there and be like, I'm having an appetizer if I'm not eating something after it. I'm having jalapeno papas. Uh, you're talking about the okay. conventions of a meal. Okay, so you're saying if you have a jalapeno papas alone, they're not, a, they're they're not, not an, an appetizer, appetizer because they didn't come before the meal. Correct. We're talking about the structure of a meal. Okay. A usually, full definition of dessert, a usually sweet course or dish, usually served at the end of a meal, a fresh fruit served after a sweet course where, okay, all right, all right, Yeah, okay. I, I, I'm not arguing against, I don't, I don't want to abolish ice cream. But let's just get back to the cheese factory for a hot sec. Sure. Their business model is predicated on, we are, we are a factory for dessert. And no, for cheesecakes. For cheesecakes. They're not saying the dessert factory. But you go there and you eat the cheesecake after the meal. 
No, you, you don't. You've never gone to their place, gotten a cheesecake, and then gone to someone's house with it. Yeah, but I'm just saying the cheesecake factory. They're luring people in the with the promise of dessert. They're like, we do dessert. We're, we're, they're calling it a fucking factory for dessert. <laughs> no, they're calling it a factory for <laughs> cheesecakes. <laughs> You're right. There's but a difference. Cheese, but cheesecake is dessert in that. It, no, uh, look. Uh, he, how well, then, why, then why do they serve Here. regular food? If it was a cheesecake factory, you'd go in and they just sell cheesecakes. The reason they sell food is because cheesecake is meant to be the dessert after the food. What do you think? They got a bar and alcohol there too. Like, right. what are you talking about? Right. And if it was, if cheesecake was meant to be cheesecake and not dessert in that establishment, it would just sell cheesecakes. See? By your own definition. No, 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 no. You talk about the title of a business. A che- I have gone to Cheesecake Factory, walked in, bought a cheesecake, and, and walked out and, and got it for someone. I, I've done that. Okay. So, wh- where would I go but the Cheesecake Factory for such an item? Any bakery or pursuit or market. But I can go to the Cheesecake Factory because that's where they're making them. But that's a restaurant. Also, but it's not just a restaurant. It's also a bakery. This <sighs> might be can, a, a great can, disagree. Can you, look it up and see, can you look it up and see if Cheesecake Factory labels themselves as a bakery? Because I bet you they do. Shout out Cheesecake Factory if you're listening, and we know that you are. Uh, Shout out Cheesecake factories. Factory Bakery. Shout right out there. Cream Cheese. Is a global brand... Oh, they call them dedicated to creating premium indulgent cheesecakes. Their website is the cheesecake factory bakery.com. They're a bakery, right? But they are, they're, a, they're a bakery. Are you going to sit here? I will. Sit are here. you going to sit here and have yeah. the, uh, have the stones have to the tell stones? me the cheesecake factory is not a restaurant? No, I, they are also a restaurant. What yes. are they first? A factory. <laughs> <laughs> A factory. Cheesecake factory clearly has identity yeah, issues. Yeah, but you, you're also getting caught up, man. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, man. Some, when you when you drive you, to the mall, you it started, doesn't say on the side you the started becoming factory a, bakery. You're becoming, first you're a sucker for the upsell, and now you're a sucker for advertising. The Magic Kingdom isn't really magic. You, you know that, right? It's it, it, it's, it's just apples and oranges. I don't understand it. They're the Cheesecake Factory, man. But it doesn't say- Bakery. It doesn't say- Bakery. Yeah, this is the website, though. This is because you know why of the business, yeah. Because they're tapping in here to sell their goods because they also sell their goods in stores now. So this is like a business model for uh, online. That's frozen goods. Yeah. That's what they push. Their online, Those are all packaged their online phone. revenue stream is packaged desserts. Yeah. That's why when you go to that, that's at the forefront. They're not going to sell you a Thai lettuce wrap on cheesecakefactorybakery.com. Oh, but when you okay. go to the mall, it doesn't yeah. say on the signage "Cheesecake Factory Bakery" because that is a restaurant, and they are luring you into that restaurant with the promise of their delectables of a cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, that's going to come at the end of your meal, which by definition is dessert. Or you can walk in and just buy one and walk away with it, which <laughs> I've done. I agree to this. But what are you disagreeing with me about that I've got into? A I cheesecake just make. Factory I think it's it? a great point that that. I think it gives great weight to okay. the dessert that the one of the most famous chains in in the world sure. predicates okay. themselves on the basis of right. dessert. And what do they what do, what do they do there? Do they do they do they have enough faith in the dessert to make a dessert restaurant? Or are they like fuck, man? If we don't put appetizers on this menu, we're going out of business. Toot sweet, <laughs> no. toot sweet. No, there's fucking more pages of they're, appetizers in there than there are at dessert. They're brick and mortar. How they're much? Brick, what about that? Their brick and mortar business model is yeah. based on. The restaurant foods. Yeah. And their online business model is based on their signature t- desserts. <laughs> okay. But by nature yeah. of the cheesecake being housed in the brick and mortar restaurant, yeah. that is there as for dessert. Okay. And and they're basing their whole so why restaurant's desserts, image though? on dessert. Okay. You don't it's not called the Thai lettuce wraps factory. No, of course not. It's called the cheesecake factory. But they factory. couldn't, but it wouldn't be the cheesecake factory without the Thai lettuce wraps. If Cheesecake you Factory go, nobody, does not send me two two of everything on their forty page menu, why? we're going to have an issue. Why would they send it to you? You're mischaracterizing their business. No, I am not. You're, you're twisting their their I'm grand vision for your own designs. All right, I tell you what, Cheesecake Factory. If you're listening and watching, send the free goods to whoever categorized you the best. All right, we'll let Cheesecake Factory decide. We'll let the factory workers decide. I'm, 
I, I don't I don't even have a, a a fucking dog in this fight. I don't care if I get anything from you guys. No, no, I don't I'm really just saying mean that. I brought I brought it up, <laughs> and, and I'm an avowed customer. I, I'm the one who said that I came to your place just to get the cheesecake. <laughs> All right, let's go to the phones. Let's go to the phones. There's no way you're gonna. This win. is a this is a tough one, man. I don't know. I feel like this tweet kind of agrees with you here. App is a pretend meal. Dessert is the paycheck you get for getting through dinner. Okay, appetizers are great in theory. Let's call up a little pimpy. Unless you're a plate of nachos deep. Oh, unless you're a plate of nachos deep, knowing you have a whole entree oh, still coming. Oh, nachos are appetizer, man. Come on. Okay. Come on. We didn't pick a winner last time, but that's all right. That's delicious. A good dessert beats a good appetizer any day, but appetizers have better range. Mm-hmm. Can be anything from a basket of mozzarella sticks to a fancier dish. Plus, you can sub an app for a meal when you're not too hungry. See, they're trying to use that. I'm using that against them. They're using it as a yeah, pro. Yeah, they're using it as like a versatility. Appetizer all the way. Plus, when I was fat, ordering a piece of chocolate cake after a whole meal just seemed embarrassing. Oh, d- dessert does put you, uh, apps put you in a less judgy spot than desserts. I didn't, it, I didn't that's just that semantics, though, because you're ordering the food front loading instead of back loading. The best dessert is yeah, better than the best appetizer. Yeah, they just you shove your fucking face, and then you're also <laughs> ordering a sundae. The best dessert is better than the best appetizer, but appetizers are better overall. People are really not, we're not getting a lot of smarmy, sarcastic, jokey responses in these last two apps. We are getting a lot of really yeah. opinionated thought. I always think I want an appetizer, but then I'm too full at the end of the meal for dessert and I get FOMO. This is, this is a popular opinion. It is, but I just wish that people would practice something I like to call self-control. <laughs> Like, you don't have to eat the whole fucking taquito plate. Appetizers are lying to yourself that you're not eating an extra meal. Desserts are honest and oh, there for you that's at your worst. That's, that's I a, love it. That's, that's bastardized. A, that's a winner for me. That's uh, Austin. Uh, it's at AKA Canada 2016. Well, I just had a steak. Let me throw down a fucking a pile of like fudge sundae. It sounds disgusting. <laughs> let's get let's get some app love in there. Let's get to a couple more app loves. Yeah. Dessert is stressed, spelled backwards, <laughs> which is exactly how people that choose appetizers make me feel. Oh. Was that a riddle? I don't know. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah He's that saying was... that people that would choose appetizers is, is backwards. Apps are something a little special. You're not likely having apps at home before dinner. Which was one of my but points. But you sure shit might have dessert. Plus, apps are usually the deep-fried, more taboo, delicious treat. I'm not frying up some pickles, mozzarella sticks, or taquitos like some. That's animal. what I was saying before, man. Like I'll always have, I'll always have the ability to forage some sort of dessert-like meal. I, I'm not always able to get the type of appetizers that I want. Plus, really, if you look at it, and I, I you know, don't get insulted by this, but like, like desserts is really like it's all kind of like not saying that there's not room for artistry in it. Okay. There is, 100%. But I mean, it's all kind of a lane. Whose appetizers really... I would, I, if I, I go to a I, Mexican I restaurant... pastry chef in this room. If I go to you a, would if, get slapped silly, my friend. Is there uh, a pastry chef? That's fine. Depending on what you look like, I'd be fine with it. Listen, <laughs> the, she, you said she, he before. Yeah, I know, but I changed it. The, uh, <laughs> but like, no, no, no. Like, like, if I go to a Mexican restaurant, the apps here are different than if I go to an Italian restaurant. Are okay. Different from okay. Like, the variety of them is a little bit more, whereas dessert, you're always going to end up with something cold, something sweet. Okay, okay. That's not a bad... That's not a bad thing. Yeah. We're on a refresh, Pimp was still at 56. I'm shadow banned. I'm most certainly shadow banned. Yeah. Yeah, I tweeted. How do you get out of shadow I band? tweeted that two hours ago. Yeah. It would normally have about 40,000 votes. We have 6,000 votes right now, just under. But how do you I get, don't know. How do you get out of a shadow band? Or in, unless it's the new this new polling system, because usually when you hit polls, yeah. you have to write in the body of the of the voting. You have a certain amount of characters to write what you want to write. Okay. This... this out of nowhere, they must have did an update, and the poll now is just the body of the regular text. So you can write a full text, a full tweet yeah. with the poll at the bottom. Maybe they changed the algorithm, and it's not getting as much uh, love. Or I don't know. I don't know what it's maybe because I maybe because I put at an at tag in the in the thing. That could be. That's probably it. It's probably they do that whenever they think yeah. you're promoting something. They're real sly. That's so fucking uh, silly. Because isn't that what this Jack this is for? Fix it, Jack. 
Jack stepped well, down. Still, no. yeah. five, fifty, six hundred people. Like yeah, still a good. All right. I think you're gonna get trounced here. I do. All right, drum roll. Because appetizers really are better. Humble pie, drum roll. I know, I know, I know. I would agree. I think you might have won this. Yes. Uh, brrr, humble pie, pimpy, give it to me. Pimp hit app. Ooh. Well, all right. I mean, Q B Q takes a W. Oh, yeah. Split ski. You there split them. And it's pretty handily. Uh, appetizers have won 63.2% yeah. to desserts 36.8%. I thought it would be even closer than that. That is a tough loss. I don't think so, man. Desserts are so, I don't know. But people, this is something called a sweet tooth. People sure. don't tell me they have a savory tooth. No, I guess not. But... At the same point, everybody loves appetizers, man. <laughs> Fucking nobody doesn't order apps. Everybody yeah. orders apps. I know. People are in love with apps. And I think the reason that I went down in flames is because apps come first and people psychologically associate uh, them being satiated and 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 by I the app. I wonder if it, it might you might have gotten felled by this because I think apps are like an ex, just an accepted part of dinner, right? Uh, dessert Whereas, is an opt-in. Desserts and opt in. Mm. It's a special treat. It's viewed as a it special treat. It is wild, though, that appetizers became a, 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 a an actual literal part of dinner. They they shouldn't be either. Yeah. It should be the same thing for both. You're right, but but if and I think it has to do with placement. Yep. You especially if you're having apps, you don't make it to dessert a lot of times, well, and so dessert gets the shaft because yeah, you started sure. heavy with the apps. But think about like when you would go to your grandmother's house. Like it would never be like here's here's a fucking pile of spaghetti. It would be like here's some cheese. Let me cut up some sausage for you. Know what I mean? It's like homemade. Oh, see, I, I associate more with oh grandma's bacon. You know, well, she's bacon. She's bacon dessert. Oh, when I go to really? grandma's house, I'm like oh dessert. Oh, my grandmother's never. My, maybe this is where we're getting to. My yeah. grandparents, they would have the box of you know with the with the with the twine wrapped around it from yeah. the local bakery. Oh yeah, that, love it. That Italian too. Cookies. Yeah, yeah. But oh but come on, my grandmother would have made. You cakes. see that white box from the bakery with that red no, red and white like twine any around any it. I, you I don't, don't like any of that stuff. I never oh, ate any of that. That's the top of the. Sometimes heap. I would take the cream out of a cannoli, but that was very rare. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I just never liked them. I always thought they were. Oh man, bakery oh. treats. Never did it for me. Bakery cookies, stuff like that, cannolis. It's like, how do you not grab one? I just never got it. Come, one becomes two. Rainbow cookie? Seven layer? I, I, I know people love them. Wow. I don't dislike them, but I, I never want them. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I just never want them. I, I don't know. I just don't have a sweet tooth. <laughs> All right, well, babe, that was a great battle. I yeah. uh, I love that 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 was a that was a really. I don't think we've had um, a f a focused battle like that in a long time. Yeah, yeah. We we oh, bullshit. Shit. We usually bullshit a lot, but a lot of times we don't really dig in to all the theory and reasoning. I think right. that was really a technical battle. Well, I'm fresh. It was refreshing. Blood. I, yeah. I was, you know, I was following the format. Yeah, that was refreshing. <laughs> you know, that was really Joe really probably good. doesn't. You know, sometimes, feel. sometimes now, depending on the passion, we we won't spend as much time dissecting. But I really like dissecting that. Okay, good. Yeah, he he he. Uh, you know, I watch you guys. Like he's got a lot of this. And, and he's and oh, he's exasperated. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 You know. Hopefully you got a different flavor. <laughs> we did. We did. Uh, anything, uh, anything to uh, no, shout nothing out? as of yet. Uh, you know, tell them Steve Dave podcast. We do it every week. Are you allowed to say like? Are you allowed to like tease those other big things that you're working on? Or uh, you know me, I don't like saying things. Okay. Until, until okay. You know, I hate saying something and then okay, well, it doesn't happen. All right. Well, I'm excited for it. <laughs> <laughs> Some cool things. Going uh, on. Yeah. So not sure when this is out, but I'm on tour. And uh, go to SalVolcanoComedy.com. All my dates are up there. They're all live. They're all for sale. And if this is in the near distant future, thank you to uh, Madison and Albany and Pittsburgh and Detroit and Connecticut and Fudge Chicago. Because oh, we man. added second shows in all of those cities because you guys are coming out. So thank you so much. I miss and, going uh, on the road with you. Yeah, I miss it too, uh, I'm man. looking forward to like us getting back yeah, out there. Yeah, me it, too. It's, Which, it's like, because when well, you were saying this and I was like, I should come to some of these shows. I should fly out just to hang out with them. And I'm yeah. like, oh yeah, we used to do that all yeah, the we fucking did. time. Yeah. yeah. It's uh well we are we are getting back on that horse. We had to, you know, cancel the tour because it got pushed around so many times and then it just it just wasn't right and yeah. we needed more of a runway to figure it out because we weren't able to do shows in the height of the pandemic. So uh we pushed it, but uh hopefully twenty twenty two we will have another announcement with some new tour dates. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That'll be I actually look forward to that. So it'll be good. Yeah. All right. Well uh I still love you. Oh, you have to say it to me. Oh, I, I still love you. I love you too. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Taste buds. They
coming to the mic Talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right Taste buds, man, yeah, they're coming to the mic I'm talking taste buds